The Ballad of the Jabberwock. My grandmother tells me, when lights are low, how the Jabberwock appeared in Squonkum long ago. First, a frightened farmer tearing into town told how his wife had seen something big and brown, horned like a billy goat and scaled like a dragon, perched cross-legged on their brand new wagon. It leapt into the barn and hid in the hay. She screeched blue murder and fainted away. The timmerman saw it coming from cross keys. It crept through Corcray's wood and peered round the trees. Footprints were found in fields, clawed like a bird's. It clumped over Marsh's roof, gibbering words. Then folk began to see it here and everywhere, clinging to the steeple, winging through the air, with vans of a mighty bat were walking in a pasture, upright as any man, and cocky as a mastiff. Squonkum locked all its doors, and bright lamps were lit in chilly front parlors, where folks seldom sit, except for a funeral or a minister's call. But what lurks in darkness? They lighted up all. Some few were skeptical and would only smile, but the path to the barn at night seemed like a mile. Reverend Wolsey preached of sin, and most folks agreed that it was a warning they had better heed. They named it the Jabberwock, for want of another. But some shook their heads. It's the devil's own brother. The people came to church, who never had been yet. Some patched up a quarrel, and some paid a debt. Cousin Joe and Cousin Kate forgot they didn't speak, and Old Man Jones stayed sober for one amazing week. Wives left off nagging, and husbands kissed their wives. The Claybrook brothers went to work for once in their lives. No one watered any milk or cut the measures down until he got religion and all her girls left town. Then one day the town awoke to find it had fled. No one saw it squatting on his barn or shed. No one saw those footprints huge upon his lawn. Suddenly, as it had come, the Jabberwock was gone. The church held a meeting, and great thanks were given that Satan had done his worst and left them scared but shriven. Satan had romped about like a roaring lion, but Squonkum held firm, and now was a little Zion. They were the wonder town of the countryside. They had driven evil out. They let good abide for almost a fortnight. Then someone stole a sack of flour out of Baker's store, and Tilly's girls came back.